the risk of contaminating traditional crops that are grown near GMOs, a risk long denied by GMO companies until scientists revealed exactly that in Mexico. Monsanto had argued at the beginning that they had control. And what our paper did was to show simply that they didn't, that you cannot really control something that moves through the air. And the whole situation became, became very, very complicated for me because immediately we started seeing a discreditation campaign. I was very close to losing my job. I had to fight for about eight years because there were many people um, telling my university that I should be kicked out for doing this work. And I was treated, you know, gangster style sometimes, that they threaten you and they tell you about your children and they know where they go to school, like, you know, threats like that. In June 2000, Monsanto went even further and sued Canadian farmer Percy Schmeiser whose conventional canola seeds had been contaminated by Roundup Ready canola. The firm accused Schmeiser of patent infringement for planting these seeds without a license or payment of royalties. Percy Schmeiser and Schmeiser Enterprises Limited versus Monsanto Canada Inc. et al. Canadian judges ended up ruling in favor of Monsanto. Percy Schmeiser was declared guilty of patent infringement and quit canola farming. <laughs>